Welcome to video 8 in the series 12 Guaranteed Ways to Create a Disloyal, Disheartened and Disengaged Team and Watch Your Business Die a Slow, Painful Death. So, today we're going to talk about how to be really ineffective in conflict situations. So, if you want to mess up and be really toxic in conflict and disagreement situations in your team and organization, you develop one of these three styles. First of all, you could learn to become really passive. So what you do is you grow within yourself a really low sense of self-worth, so you're lacking any sense of confidence. And then whenever somebody says something you disagree with, even when you strongly disagree with it, you say nothing, you go passive, you go quiet. You can even be really skilled at this. You could even pretend on the outside that you actually uh, agree. Yeah, sure. Um, and then you go away and maybe you tell someone else that you don't agree or you go and shout at your cat or your dog that night or get really impatient with your spouse or children. That's what a passive person generally do does. They bottle up that uh, conflict inside. Another approach that would be a really ineffective way and guarantee uh, destructive conflict handling in your team is to uh, be really aggressive. So you don't really ever value other people's opinions. You have a, a sense of arrogance that you're always right. And even if you ask them and they start sharing their opinions, you act really aggressively. You talk loudly, you point, you put yourself in dominant body posture positions. Uh, you do everything you can to make them feel small and beat them, win the battle. Because in the aggressive conflict handling person's mindset, there is only win or lose and you're always going to be the winner, right? So that's another way. Perhaps the, the most skilled of the ineffective conflict handling styles, it takes real art to master this, is to be passive aggressive. So here's how you do this. You pretend that you are um, fine with something but you kind of show aggressively that you're not. Let's imagine that your boss or your colleague suggests something, you kind of, and you disagree with it strongly. You kind of go, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll, we'll do it your way as always. So even though you're kind of agreeing, you're absolutely not agreeing. And if you're really good at being passive aggressive, what you can also do is be really good at sharing the toxicity. So you'll go and talk behind people's backs regularly. And even if you've agreed with someone to their face, you will make sure to the other 10 team members they, that you know that you disagree. And you'll try and undermine people, but in that passive, manipulative way. So alternatively, you could do the opposite of all of those things and you could be assertive. You could show up in conflict with a sense of, I'm okay and you're okay too. So a high level of respect for yourself and an equally high level of respect for others. That's what I teach and that's what we help people to develop in the LPS Teams model. But like I said, if you really wanna screw up the conflict handling, passive, aggressive or passive aggressive. And what that will also lead to is make sure you ignore the different perspectives. Never see things from the other person's perspective. I'll never even attempt to see things from a more neutral perspective. And if you're really good at screwing up people in conflict situations, you learn how to gaslight. Now, for you, those of you who are not familiar with the toxic uh, art of gaslighting, what you learn to do is you never allow other people or accept other people's expressions of feeling. Because 
in LPS world, we know that you can never judge or you can never undermine somebody else's sharing of their feelings. But in the ineffective world where you want to really screw up your team or relationships, what you do is you gaslight. How do you gaslight? So when somebody says, I feel really uncertain or I feel really nervous, you completely dismiss it. And you can dismiss it quite actively. Well, you shouldn't feel nervous or, well, you're just being silly. So make sure you feel, you, you make the other person try and feel really small and ashamed of their feelings as well. And then you're creating a beautifully toxic culture, which will totally disengage people and lower performance levels to perhaps the lowest level. Um, I'm off to do all the opposite of those things and help the teams I work with create a healthy environment, a safe space where people can share how they feel and people know how to de deal with conflict and disagreements in an actively assertive way. But of course, as always, it's your choice. So how are you going to do it? Thank you.